Hey guys, here's the final video from M. Sato Milsim's Breaking Bad 2017. As we pick up at the beginning of the final segment, we are working with cartel forces. This one's a little long, guys, but the action is good. Second half, DEA, you guys are getting the same respawn. Cartel, your respawn is going to be the green trailer on the back side of Kafir. Cartel realized Jesse's not qualified to make high-end meth. <laughs> they want Walt Sr. to help out. For you guys don't know, that's going to be Walt. Why do you keep here? Look at this guy, man. Cartel, meth lab has you been compromised. Sure Need to move it to the refinery area. Need to get Walt Sr. Walt Sr. will have the material he needs to make good meth. Meth needs to be manufactured and packaged. Little baggies. You guys will like those. First sale by 4 o'clock. At 4 o'clock, Cartel needs to contact the distributor. It's not a chicken guy, but it's the Portuguese guy right here. He will meet up with you guys as far as buying it. Cartel extraction. Boat dock, 4.30 to 5, with whatever you have. That's what you'll need to, to meet up with your distributor. Got to get your stuff made and out of the area between 4.35. DEA, you guys need to capture all the material. If possible, any of the, any of the role players as well, who you have evidence on. You can't just take people you don't have any evidence on. Your extraction, helicopter, 5 o'clock. With over 230 players signed in, this has been a great op, and the best is yet to come. <laughs> Starting off from High Point, we head southwest toward the village, hoping to get there ahead of the DEA. Enemy in the boat. Contact left. They beat us to the village. But now it's turkey shoot.
I like the Tommy gun. Corner behind the boat, the corner of that shack. He's dressed in black, he's easy to spot. Is this guy for real? I hit him in the head at least three times. Gun hit! 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 Nice shot! After respawn, we head for the refinery. As we approach, we can see that we're in the process of cooking the meth. I got the boundary. As Skunk and others set up a defensive perimeter, I push out through the marsh to cover the back boundary. I have ambush in mind. I quickly spot a single DEA player working across in front of me, about a hundred yards out. I slowly stalk to within about 30 yards, making sure there's no other players with him. Now to see if he'll be medicked. I move off behind a tree hoping the player will think that I've left. Then slowly work back into position. Looks like no medic for him. Time to get back into position. Hit! Nice shot! Nice shot. Wait a minute. Weren't these guys on my team five minutes ago? It's the boys from 811. What are you doing out here? Uh, guarding the back. That's Jeff, the bastard who shot me.
Good shit. Now I'm hit, but I kept the goggles cam rolling for you guys. Okay, to be fair, these guys ran into a buzzsaw, but look how well they worked together to get all of their guys out. I got it all on video for you. Nice. Yeah, let's go. Set. Bring your boy. Moving. Come on, motherfucker. <laughs> you guys maneuver well. Dead man walking. Coming back through the meth camp after respawn, I noticed movement in the ditch. showing is about a half inch of tan hat above the boards. You had good cover there, man. As we approach the ditch, we see a DEA player bolt across to the left towards the cafe. Other cartel players seem to be retreating to the village. He went left, I think. Watch your, watch the woods. I'm going left. As I move up, I notice that somebody's pop smoke across the road. As the action picks up, we're joined by several other players. You see him? Yeah, I got you. Oh, nice. Good. They're inside the cafe. Okay. Suddenly, we start taking fire from the village. Sorry guys, at this point I'm down to just the goggle scam, and the glare from the open area doesn't help. Yes, that's Crossfire. Don't worry, I'm not aiming at him. Okay, so here's where it gets really interesting. They have absolutely no idea that I'm here. Yo, you really not gonna fucking call that 
30 feet away, four in a plate carrier. He didn't call it, but he left. Now someone else takes his place at the corner. Suddenly I see movement to my left coming fast. If you watch closely, you can see a whole squad try and come across. Now I spot the saw gunner coming in. Did you guys see that guy in the wall? Pay close attention now. No. Hey, if you think, wait, okay, if you think you did, but dude, look where I am. You can't get a BB through here. My gun was right here. If you did, it would have been, but hey, this other guy just hit me, so, but hey, honest, dude. Honest, serious. Hey, man, I wear a t-shirt because I want to call mine. I don't want to be known like that, so, but I'm hit now. Two, I'm hit, I'm hit, I'm hit. I'm pulling it out. We're all here to have fun, dude. No, hey man, no problem. Hey, I have no problem with someone questioning it as long as you're civil about it. That's awesome. Can't believe it. He had me dead to rights, as I did him, but it took me about 20 shots to hit him through the brush. Okay guys, I gotta warn you, what's coming up isn't good. You guessed it, after about six hours in the field, the battery in my last cam is about to die. But I did make it up the hill and got behind him. He never saw me coming. Be sure to check out Friday's bonus video. It's different. I think you're gonna like it. On behalf of Skunk and the rest of the Taz team, this is Smoke, 
Thanks for watching. See you next time.